Zero grazing has become a practice taken up by most dairy farmers. It is a form of centralizing all your cattle husbandry activities, such as feeding, watering and milking and health management in a confined area. Proper planning is therefore necessary before starting a zero grazing system. However, zero grazing comes with a major damage to hooves. The overgrown hooves is responsible for lameness and limping, prompting other livestock diseases such as foot rot, absences and punctures. Trimming affects the whole uh, welfare of the animal, how the, the cow walks and also the cow posture and what in total we look at the, the cow health. This is because of the hard surface the cows have to walk and stand on. The lameness and limping causes pain to the cow which in turn affects milk production. It is for this reason that farmers from central Kenya and beyond are being sensitized on hoof management and trimming to reduce cases of culling and low milk production. Seen it is very much important because to farmers there in the field, they don't know more about hoof trimming. They just know it's normal, how the calf grows until it's an adult cow. So we have seen it's very important and we are going to train farmers there more on hoof trimming. That it's very important to do hoof trimming to the cows since when you don't do that it decreases the amount of production. So it's always good to do the hoof trimming to the cows so that it can be healthy and it can add more production. It's not easy here because they are not used to the hoof trimming at all. So, but that is a very important thing to do it preventively. Because curative, it works, but it's more work and it's, the costs are high. Because a cow who is lame don't give the milk. So you have to, to less the costs and to, to, the inputs should be down and the, the output should be higher. The training is organized by the Dutch NGO SVN Netherlands Development Organization. Although the process is still new to the market, it is a crucial part of dairy cattle management. The problem is you ask a lot of milk of, of the dairy cows. Mm -hmm. So you put a lot more food in it than, than they are used to in the normal way of living. So when you do that, there, there comes problems with it. So hoof trimming is actually the solver of that problems because the the hooves they get uh, they have diseases because of that either you trim it uh, upwards and then you can also trim it downwards experts from the kenya market dairy program say innovation and adoption of new dairy technologies will meet the increasing demand of today's farmer <laughs> yeah exactly okay. The process is however tough and rough. The cow has to be locked up in a cage like this one and tied down to reduce movement and then its legs are raised. The trimmer then carefully uses sharp hoof knives to trim excess layers. It is no secret, it is no secret that cows that have been trimmed are more happier and can stand for longer times. The trimming should be done at least thrice in a year. Caroline Jenga for News Hour Business.